tasty. Come on, take a bite. That no cigar. The reptiles just won't run. A big part of the problem may very well be that it knows it's not a person. How can it tell? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Conditions are perfect. Crocs are the most active at this time of the year. And the humid, steamy weather means they shouldn't be sluggish. No interest whatsoever. I'm starting to feel extremely defeated. There's a run in my stockings and there's no crocodile running. You know what they say about children and animals in the film industry. You said it, Tori. Animal myths are notoriously difficult to bust. Remember skunk cleaning? Adam and Jamie set out to test a bunch of skunk smell home remedies. Only problem was, they couldn't get a skunk to kick up a stink. Well, it doesn't work. Can we go now? Back in Crocodile Alley, the test subjects are refusing to chase Buster's meat legs in a zigzag or any other configuration. Luckily, the Mythbusters have a plan B. We're actually going to take a quail and put it on my robot here, and this is a battle-ready combat robot. So if, uh, unfortunately, uh, an animal gets a hold of it in its jaws, it is built for combat, so it probably will stand up. With its cargo of quail in place, Grant's robot sets out on its mission. Looking like the Mars rover, it parks near the edge of a pool, well within striking distance. Grant's poised to hit the accelerator at the first crocodilian quiver. But apparently, this croc doesn't feel like Meals on Wheels. We're having a hard time getting this crocodile to come to the surface of the water, so I'm going to try to entice it with some quail, and I'm just going to drop it right in front of his nose, or her nose. Tori ventures close and throws the bird. Nothing, not a ripple. I don't think he's coming out the water. Well, the trainers here say that they're naturally secretive animals, and what's more, they're not stupid. Yeah, he seems pretty spooked by your robot. No response to the rig, no response to the robot. You can't say the Mythbusters aren't trying. You know, those crocodiles seem like they're slow on land, but shooting out of the water, they're lightning. Well, actually, I've done a little bit more research, and it turns out in almost every crocodile or alligator attack, since they've been keeping records, the victim has been in or near the water. Well, then what are the rules to avoid being chomped? First, if there are any warning signs, don't go in the water. Second, if you fall into the water, get out as quickly as possible. And third, never ever dangle your legs or arms over the side of the boat. I think we can handle these rules. There's only one thing left, plan C. That's C for crazy. Tari's gonna put his behind on the line and get a croc to chase him instead. Tori, Carrie, and Grant have been wrestling with the myth that crocodiles can't run in a zigzag. So far, they haven't been able to coax a croc into running at all. You know what they say about desperate times and desperate measures. We've tried everything to get these crocodiles to chase the food, but apparently nothing's working. So we're going to try a different approach. We're going to try to see if we can get them to chase us out of aggression. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually suit up with some protective gear, get in there, try to agitate the crocodiles, and see if they'll chase me. Tori's going out on a limb. Let's just hope all his are still there when it's over. So let's say one of them does get a hold of my leg. What will you do to I will, break uh, that hold? I will do everything I can to ease your pain as quickly as possible. He has a stick. Yeah, and this is actually more yeah, for you. Out yes, stick. Exactly. <laughs> um, the quicker you lose consciousness, the, the better. better off it is for you, yes. Tari's legs will be well protected. Unfortunately, the heavy padding will also slow him down. Great. The safety protection caused me to fall down. Protective gear is hindering me from running away from the crocodile. Nevertheless, he's ready for a face-to-face -face croc confrontation. The Johnston's crocodile is found in Australian waters. It's smaller than the Cuban croc, but fast and fiercely territorial. So this is the first test chasing Tori the Johnston crocodile. What do you think is going to happen? I think it can catch him. 